Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash today I fucked up. But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Brandon MTN. I wandered out of someone else's house, got lost and had to have a random guy phone me a taxi to find my way home. But what do we think? Is this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash today I fucked up, where Peter Gaming posted this. Today I fucked up by catcalling a cat without checking my surroundings. About two hours ago I was heading home with a bunch of shopping bags and I saw a cat sitting in the corner of a side street. So I approached the cat and went pss pss. Hey baby! And I see a woman coming out of that side street. We lock eyes and I immediately say that I'm talking to the cat and point at the cat, only to do a half step on the sidewalk, twist my ankle, fall down, hit my right leg hard on the street. Not sure exactly how it happened as I just ended up on my back with a lot of pain in my leg, with one of the bags I was holding ripping open and my things scattering near me. I heard laughter. And a dude ran towards me and helped me get up while another collected my things and put them in the other bags for me. They made sure I was okay and left. Then I stood there in pain and extreme embarrassment for a couple of minutes. Too long, didn't read. I cat called a cat, worried a woman would think I was harassing her, tripped, fell, got hurt and embarrassed. Spurious antics in the comments had this to contribute. I like to think the woman didn't even hear the cat calling and in her version of events she made eye contact with a man on the street who blurted out I was talking to the cat and then proceeded to fall dramatically. Hilarious. Yes, I'd like to believe those versions of events too. This next story was posted by the Dodo Menace. Today I fucked up by shaving my butt and joining my friend group's best butt competition while being a guy. So, first of all, I'm a 19 year old guy and everyone involved in the butt competition was between the ages of 18 and 20. All to count as I don't want my friends to know my actual Reddit account. So, it all started around a week ago when some girls in my friend group came together and started drinking. They started boasting about their butts and next thing you know they wanted to do a best butt competition. I wasn't there so I don't know details but we were sent a message in a group chat. Rules were simple. If you wanted to join, you just had to send a pic of your butt to this certain girl who would present them anonymously to eight guys and they would all vote for the pictures of the best butt. Well, I thought it'd be funny to join, but I knew that they wouldn't take it seriously because my ass is naturally extremely hairy. So I did the most logical thing at the time. I shaved it. I took the shaving equipment I normally use for my face switched the knives and went ham. Well, this is where the first problem came in. The stupid person I am didn't lock the door. My mom walked in on me, shaving my ass. She just awkwardly wiggled away and I turned extremely red. She didn't say anything, so I thought she would just ignore it. Well, she didn't. She started Googling. That evening, she asked me to come to the dinner table to talk. My father ran away so I knew it would be bad, but I didn't expect it to be that bad. She wanted to talk about intercourse safety in a homosexual relationship. Keep in mind, I'm not actually gay. She was extremely well prepared. Highlights of that evening were practicing with a condom and a cucumber. The dangers of gay sex without lube and a brief summary of objects I should definitely not put in my butt, such as lamps and beer bottles. She would not listen to any of my denying and would just say, it's okay, your dad and I still love you. <laughs> so good. So good. I thought the worst was over, so I sent a picture of my shaven butt to the girl that was collecting them. Two days later, the nine pictures of all the contestants were sent, all without any distinguishable features, to the eight boys. So one thing you should know is that I do have quite a good butt. I got pretty good genes in that aspect 
and I've been skating since I was 14. I now skate around 60 kilometers a week and skating is an incredible way to get a firm round butt of decent size. You can probably see where this is going. I won with a total of 5 out of 8 votes. One picture got 2 votes and one got 1 vote. Fallout from this was not that big. Some of the more prideful girls wanted to start some drama but they didn't want to admit their butt lost to a boy. I didn't talk a lot with them anyway and Covid makes drama a little more difficult so that was simply ignored by most of us. Our mixed gender trip to a lake when lockdown would end did turn a guys only trip as some of the girls suddenly didn't really feel like going and the rest didn't want to go to a lake with such a one sided girl slash boy ratio. I do want to say that most of the girls did think it was hilarious on some sort of level and the one that didn't are famous in our group for being extremely prideful. It is, however, extremely awkward to talk with most of them as they now look at my ass quite frequently. It doesn't stop with this, by the way. I was gaming with my friends today and we started talking about the butt competition. We kept it anonymous which butt was from what person and the people that voted didn't know who won yet and I did not know who the guys that voted were. Well, the guy I was gaming with happened to be one of the people voting. He said he couldn't choose between two and so he started masturbating and voted for the one he came on. I said something around the lines of, that's gross as fuck. He then said something like, you would understand if you saw the butt and then proceeded to send the picture he voted for via Snapchat. It was mine. I didn't tell him, but I now have to live with the knowledge that a good friend of mine came on a picture of my shaven ass. One thing some people seem to misunderstand is that my butt is extremely incredible to win against cheerleaders, actresses and models. My friend group exists out of the D&D players, the art kids and the alternative crowd. Even though we have some incredibly beautiful people here, we were never the jaw-dropping popular crowd. Which is okay, as we always had fun. I am not a dude with a Brazilian woman's ass. The fuck up continued by the way. My ass is itching. Like a lot, damn it. Too long, didn't read. Shaved my ass and entered a butt competition. Made life awkward with my mom, a few of my female friends and one male friend. In the comments, Antipatico6 had this to say. I adore this retelling and all its escalations. I am curious about your prize winning butt. A butt that turns women against men, sends mothers to the internet to research anal sex safety and fills straight men with a lust that peaks to ejaculation. It's a butt for the ages. Take good care of it. This last story was posted by It's Peter J. Today, I fucked up by almost committing a war crime. I started doing stand-up when I was in the army, in Afghanistan actually. I started telling stories around the fire at night, but eventually started doing shows in the chow hall or during talent shows if we were on a bigger base at the time. It wasn't uncommon for me to do so badly that I lost people during these shows. I even had a platoon opt to go on patrol early rather than watch my whole set. I was less fun than possibly dying. <laughs> I wanted to get better so I ordered a book and started working on trying to improve crowd work, talking to the audience and being more physical. I figured if I could make the interpreters laugh with the language barrier, I'd be on my way to being a better comic. During our next patrol we detained several suspected Taliban fighters. We needed to keep them on our base until they could get picked up by intel people, so we needed to watch them for two days. I thought the idea of a literal captive audience was too good to pass up and basically tried to do crowd work and run bits by them in an incredibly animated manner. <laughs> Imagine Sebastian Maniscalco but two months into comedy. I volunteered for as many guard duty shifts as I could. I'd try jokes, I'd ask for their names and where they were from, jobs etc. Anything I could try to make a joke about. Never a single laugh. Eventually they got picked up and apparently one complained about my jokes specifically. I ended up getting a stern talking to for unconventional interrogation because I kept asking where they were from and what they did. <laughs>
and had to explain that I was so bored and desperate to get better at comedy that I almost inadvertently committed a war crime. <laughs> Too long and didn't read. I performed stand-up comedy for detained Taliban members that went so badly they accused me of war crimes. Got a stern talking to for that. Down in the comments, I came across a link for YouTube. I've included a link in the description. This is OP doing stand-up. It's actually really funny. Check it out. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who got lost? It was... A drunk. When this happened, I was drunk. Hashtag cool story, bro. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.